Good morning, dear students. My name is teacher George. Welcome to your class number five. It's a great pleasure to be with you today. Once again, to share another fantastic topic. I'm glad to have you here once again, and I hope that we're all excited and ready to start class. Okay, so I'm gonna take assistance. Jessica, good morning. Good morning. Santiago, good morning to you too, Santiago. Hernan, good morning, Hernan. I'm excellent. How about you? I'm glad to hear. Luigi, good morning. Good morning. Maria, good morning, Maria. John, I'm fine, thanks. How about you? I'm glad to hear, okay. All right, so the topic for today's class is called travel, okay? Travel, T-R-A-B-E-L, okay, travel. And I'm gonna present you the objectives for today's class. The objectives for today's class is that you guys are going to learn to report about travel experiences, okay? You're gonna be able to describe your travel experiences, report our travel experiences, share your travel experiences. And we're also going to learn about collocations with the verb go. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's get started. Well, to start with, I'm going to explain what travel is. As you can see in the image, travel means to discover new places, to go from A to B, to meet new people, different cultures, to go from one place to another. Okay. So let's see. Um, I'm going to, so when it comes to travel, Travel means, like I said, for go from A to B. And the person who travels, right? The person who practices the travel is known as traveler, okay? So it's travel and traveler, okay? So I'm going to ask you to share some of your experiences when you traveled, okay? So let's get started with Jessica. Can you please share your experience? Can you recall an experience about a recent travel that you did? Yes. It could be within Ecuador, it could be, uh, you know, in another country. Okay, so you went to Cuba, okay. All right. So who did you go with? Oh, you went with your family. Okay. All right. How long did you go for? Two weeks, okay. Where did you stay at? at the resort, okay? And when was, when did the trip, when was the trip carry out? Oh, this uh, past March, okay, all right. And can you tell us anything else about Cuba? What did you like, you know? Can you describe what Cuba was like? Maybe, you know, the food, the people, the culture. Okay, you didn't enjoy the food that much, okay, uh-huh. Okay, Cuba's an island, okay. And the people were very friendly, okay, all right. So, okay, perfect. All right, let's go with another example. Let's see, Hernan. Yes, can you please share a, a travel experience that you had recently? Okay, so you went to Montañita. When, when did you go? Oh, a month ago, okay. Who did you go with? You went with a bunch of friends, okay. Um, where did you stay at in Montañita? Like, where did you book your accommodation? In a hotel, okay. Um, when was the trip? Okay, so you already mentioned that. And can you tell me something about, uh, something else about Montañita? How did you feel? Did you enjoy the beach? Did you enjoy the food? Like, what was it? Can you talk about a little bit more about your travel experience? Okay, it was a wonderful, happy experience. Uh huh. You love the beach. Okay. What kind? Of, what type of food did you eat? Okay, shrimps, crabs. Okay, seafood, basically, right? Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. So now, one more person. Let's see, Maria. Can you please share a recent experience that you had about um, traveling? Okay, so about a month ago, okay, so 
A month ago, you went to New York. Okay, uh-huh. Who did you go with? With your husband, okay. You went with your husband. Um, uh, what was, what did you like about the trip? Okay, so it was your first time boarding a plane, okay? And it was very tiring. Okay, and what did you like about New York? What was it like? What was the people, the food? I don't know. Okay, so you couldn't really communicate because you didn't speak English properly, right? Okay. <coughs> I'm sorry. And um, what kind of food did you eat? Ecuadorian food. Also, there was a place in New York that had Ecuadorian food. So your travel experience was positive, basically. Okay, all right, already. I'm glad to hear, okay. All right, so we're gonna continue with our class and now I want you to, um, I'm gonna send you a link where you're going to, uh, I want you to check a web page, okay? I want you to check a web page that I have prepared for you. That is freepick, okay, dot s. Okay, so what I want you to do in this page, first get to the page, okay? All right, um, and in this page, I want you to, to search for words that, that, um, that are related to travel. You know, it could be, for example, I'm gonna give you an example. Um, let's see, um, accommodations. Okay, so for example, I type accommodation, right? And when I type accommodation, then you get all types of accommodations. You get buildings, you get houses, hotels, uh, that, you know, like, as you can see here, you are booking an accommodation. You are talking to the person who's gonna receive you, you know, and then another word that is related to travel would be transportation. Okay, so, because you need transportation where you travel, right? So, and when you book, when you type transportation, you get all types of transportation. You get like planes, ships, buses, cars, um, motorbikes, okay? So I want you to, to type words that are related to vocabulary to travel, okay? So like I said, it would be types of trips, types of activities, the beach, um, culture, food, you know. So we're gonna take one minute to search this page and look for words that are related with the vocabulary of the unit, okay? All right. Okay, so please explore. And at the same time, uh, there's one more thing I want you to do. Okay, so once you guys um, have finished checking this page, the vocabulary words that I asked you to check, uh, I want you to check um, one page of your book. Okay, so please, I want you to open your books on page 48, please. Okay. Yes, page 48, Jessica. Okay, so here you have lesson one, what kind of traveler are you? Okay, so here we have some pictures that are related to travel as well, right? So, and at the at the right hand side, we have a word bank that we have some activities, words, right? We have kayaking, a tent, hiking, a hotel, by plane, by canoe, on foot, a cabin, sightseeing, a campsite, a bicycle trip, a bus tour, and a cruise. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at the image and I want you to classify these words into each one of the columns here, okay, for example, number one, it says kayaking. What's a kayaking, right? Kayaking is an activity. So it would go on the first line of the column. Then we have a tent. What's a tent? This is a tent, right? So a tent would be under accommodations, correct. 
And then we have hiking. What's hiking, uh, Hernan? When you walk, right? Okay, so where would that go? In activities, exactly. So I want you to look at each word and I want you to classify each word under each one of the columns, okay? All right, so let's get to it. Yes, I want you to classify each one of the columns, okay? All right, so we're gonna take one or two minutes to do this activity. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna continue with our class and we're gonna go with the next activity. Okay, so now I want you to look at some words, okay? We have bowling, cycling, dancing, aerobics, archery, athletics, base, baseball, basketball, board games, okay? Now I want you to, to look at um, that in the top part, we have some verbs. We have go, do, and play. Okay, so I want you to I wanna I want you to know that when we use bowling, bowling can only go with the verb go. Let's go bowling, right? And when you do aerobics, you cannot say let's let's go do aerobics. No, you can say uh, you cannot say let's go let's go aerobics. You you can say let's go do aerobics. Okay, when you wanna play basketball, you cannot say let's do basketball or let's go basketball. You have to say, let's go play basketball, okay? So each one of these words, bowling, cycling, dancing, fishing, jogging, riding, running, sailing, skating, skiing, swimming, wrestling, they only go with the verb go. This list only with the verb do, and this list only with the verb play, okay? So here, here and here you have the explanation. Go is used for activities and sports that end with ing. So all the activities and sports that, that end with ing go with the verb go. Do only is used with non-team sports in which any equipment is not used, okay? For example, in aerobics, right? Um, in aerobics, in archery, athletics, right? It says any equipment is not used, right? So you don't need any equipment to do this type of activities. And then play is used for team sports or sports that need objects such as a baseball or a desk, okay? And I wanna highlight here that we don't use make to talk about sports, okay? So the reason why we use this, um, these words go specifically with these verbs is because of collocations, okay? Because of collocations, all right? So now I'm gonna explain a little bit more about what are collocations, okay? All right, so I'm gonna share my screen one second. Okay, so a collocation, what's a collocation? A collocation is made up of two or more words that are commonly used together, right? That's what collocation means. Two or more words that usually go together. Think of collocations as words that usually go together. Sometimes go is used without any preposition or article with creates the following list. Go home, go downtown, go abroad, go north, go south. So here we can see the collocations with go. We can use go, go home, go downtown, abroad, north, south, go to, we can also use go to, go to a, go on, go to the, or go for. So collocations, okay? So collocations, like I said, I wanna emphasize that it's known as a group of words that got together, right? Okay, so we gotta look more examples. When we go to a location, we can say, we go to school, we go to work, we go to college, we go to university, we go to prison, we go to jail. When we use go to a, and a noun, go to a party, go to a concert, go to a conference, go to a meeting, go to play, okay? Um, go to a meeting, and then we have go on, 
go on holiday, go on trip, go on a cruise, go on adventure, go on safari, okay? Just go to, go to a, go on, go to the, or go for. So collocations, okay? So collocations, like I said, I want to emphasize that it's known as a group of words that got together, right? Okay, so we got to look more examples. When we go to a location, we can say, we go to school, we go to work, we go to college, we go to university, we go to prison, we go to jail. When we use go to a, an unknown, go to a party, go to a concert, go to a conference, go to a meeting, go to play, okay? Um, go to a meeting. And then we have go on, go on holiday, go on trip, go on a cruise, go on adventure, go on safari, okay? So, and sometimes we have go to the, and location, go to the park, go to the cinema, go to the bank, go to the supermarket, go to the airport, go to the beach, okay? So, I want you to give me some examples. Let's see, uh, Maria. Okay, so give me an example, please, with collocations with go. I wanna go to the cinema tomorrow, okay, all right? Let's see another example, uh, John, collocations with go. I wanna go on a trip with my friends, okay? One more example, let's see, um, Santiago. I want to go for a hike tomorrow with my mom, okay? All right, so as you can see, those are the go collocations, okay? All right, those are collocations with the verb, go okay all right so let's continue and now we are going to now we are going to um okay so as you already know when you when you want to go when you want to go on a trip right in order for you to go on a trip you have to prepare yourself to go on a trip like when you go travel you have to prepare you cannot just go so you have to prepare yourself to go on a trip. So you have to do a certain kind of preparation. So I'm going to show you an example how to do a preparation before I travel. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do most. Let's say that I want to go to Mexico. Okay. All right. So I'm, let's say I'm going to go with uh, my girlfriend to Mexico. Okay. All right. So hello. Hi. Yes, we're going to go to Mexico uh, in two days. Are you, do you want to go? All right. So I'm going to book the tickets, okay? So I'm going to go online, you know, and then I'm going to be looking for tickets to go to Mexico. I'm going to book my, my vacation, right? I'm going to book. Hello. Yes, I want to book my vacation in a resort in Cancun. Yes. It's going to be two people. I want a hotel. Yes. One, two beds, and I want everything included. Yes. Okay. All right. Then I can go and uh, look, I have to look for the type of restaurant that I want, the type of city that I want. You know, for example, let's say that I wanna go to Venice, right? Let's say that I wanna go to Venice. Um, you know, I have to look the type of restaurant, the type of food, et cetera, et cetera, okay? All right, so I want you to, I want you to look, okay? So I want you to look, at this website, which is www.reposo.com. And I want you to pick a destination, okay? Yes, so I want you to go to this webpage. 
<clears throat> the three puzzles that come, right? You click there and then you get to this page and then I want you to pick a destination. You can, you have museums, art tours, performances, wine, active adventure sports. For example, let's say that, um, uh, John, give me a destination that you wanna go to, Rome. Okay, so you wanna go to Rome. And then in Rome, you have plenty of options, okay? Let's see, search. Okay, so then you click search and then you have your options here. For example, you can go to, to the Vatican museums. You can go uh, to um, the, uh, the, Colise the Roman Coliseum, okay? All right, so I want you to do the exact same thing that I did. You know, I want you to pretend you are calling you're booking a destination, you're going online, you're surfing, but one thing specifically is that you have to pick a destination, okay? So let's get to it. Okay, so you already, okay, so time is up. You guys already have your destinations. Okay, so let's start with Jessica. Which destination did you pick? Okay. So she picked Spain, she said, okay. All right, so you're gonna go to Spain and then you're gonna go to Barcelona. You're gonna stay there for what, how long? One week, okay. You're gonna stay in a local hotel in Barcelona. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, when are you gonna go? In a month, okay, all right. So here is what Jessica has shared with us. Any, so this is what you're gonna see in Barcelona, right? You're gonna go to the Barcelona, the Barcelona Stadium. You're gonna go to churches and, and look around Barcelona, okay? Let's see another example. Um, Luigi, which destination did you pick? Venice? Okay, so Luigi is gonna go to Venice, okay. When are you gonna go? In two weeks, okay. Where are you gonna stay? In a friend's house in Venice. And what type of activities are you gonna do? Okay, you're gonna go on the little boat and you're gonna dine in restaurants and look around the city, okay? All right, well done guys, well done. All right, now I want you to, um, now I want you to, um, we're gonna, we, I, I want you to participate in a debate, okay? Where I want you to give reasons why some people should get, should visit certain city and why town or a more specific place. Like I want you to give reasons, provide reasons, okay? So let's start with the debate. Let's start with uh, John. Give us a city. Yes, or a destination. Okay, so John says Bali. Okay, Bali is like in Asia, right? Okay, so why? what are the reasons why people should visit Bali? Let me see if it's here. Bali, right? In, it's in Indonesia, okay? Give me reasons why people should visit Bali, you guys. Okay, it's an exotic place, okay? Another reason? Oh, because they have great waves so people can serve, okay? Another reason? Maybe Maria? Because uh, it's a unique place in the world, right? Okay, all right. Let's go with another place. Um, um, let's see. Luigi, the Great Wall of China, he says. Okay. Okay, so Luigi says the Great. Okay, so let's debate why people should go to the Great Wall of China. Okay. Okay, it's because an historic place. Okay, yeah. Another reason. because it's an, a tourist attraction, okay? 
Another reason? Because most people like Chinese food, okay? All right, so, okay, so yeah, uh, maybe one more, maybe, maybe one more place, let's see. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see, uh, somebody who hasn't participated. Let me see. Santiago, you're very quiet. Yes, give us a destination that and reasons why people should go to that place so we can debate. Okay, so Santiago says Galapagos. Okay. Okay. Why should people go there, guys? So I want you to debate. Because it's a natural resource, okay? Another reason? Because of its unique beauty and animals that the island has. Would you recommend going to Galapagos Islands, uh, John? No, John doesn't agree, why? Okay, so John thinks because it's very expensive and it's overpriced and because of the pandemic, it's not worth it going to Galapagos Islands, okay? All right. Okay, guys, so let's go with the next activity. So I have prepared a little game for you guys to participate, okay? So we're gonna go to the page. I'm gonna send you the link with www.quiz.com and I'm gonna send you the, the code. So you can participate in this um, game that I prepared for you that talks about holiday places, okay? All right, so when you start, you click on it and then you're gonna get into um, questions related to the unit, okay? For example, here, it says, what is it, right? Is it an aquarium? Is it a circus? Is it a castle? Or is it a science museum? And then you gonna have to look at the image and you have 30 seconds to reply and whoever answers the most questions wins the game, okay? All right, so let's get to it. Yes, yes, I'm gonna send you the link and the code right now. Okay. All right, so let's get to it, please, guys. Okay, one second. I'm not sure if I'm sharing. Yes, yeah, it's AM. Okay, yeah, so let's get to it, please. Okay. One second, I think I'm, I, I'm not. Yes, so let's continue doing the game like I instruct you. Okay, you have 30 seconds to answer the questions, please. Okay, so now I want you to go to the next activity that I have prepared for you guys, okay? One second, I'm gonna go to the next activity that I have prepared for you guys as part of the this class, okay? All right, so here, um, I want you to, I have prepared this, this page for you guys. And it's about, it's also, there are also questions. Here is questions with WH, WH, okay? WH questions, where I want you to answer them, okay? I want you to answer the questions with, about travel, okay? So it says, look at the one to the questions below. Can you add the missing question words? Use the words in the word box below to complete the sentences. Remember to type the capital letter to begin each sentence, right? Okay, for example, let's go with the number one. What's the quickest way to get to London? Okay, so here we have to use what? What's, right? So capital letter, what's, right? Then we go with number two. Uh, let's see, Jessica, what would be for question number two? what right it would also be what what time does the next train leave the next one isn't there a lift to the platform so what would be the question why correct why isn't there a lift to the platform let's go question number four luigi
when, no, where. No, no, no. Which, right? Correct. Which train goes to the airport? Next one, uh, Hernan. Where? Thank you. Next one, um, Jessica. What? What's the nearest cafe, right? Let's see, uh, John, number seven. Where can I check my, check in for my flight? Number eight, uh, let's see, Maria. Why? Why do you need to see my passport? Number nine, um, let's see, Santiago. Where, where can I hire a car? And number 10, Santiago, where, where are the toilets? Okay. All right. So, <coughs> okay. To finalize with our class, okay. As a final activity for our class, I want you to check the following page. I'm gonna share with you guys in a second. Okay. One second, I'm gonna share with you guys. Okay. So it's, um, okay, so it's jigsawplanet.com, okay? So here we have to, the activity, it's a crap work, okay? So basically, in this activity, what you have to do is you have to, it's a puzzle, okay? So you have to put the pieces together to form this image, okay? The image belongs to an island in Italy, okay? It's called Procida Island. It's located in Italy. And I want you to go to the web, okay? And I want you to look for reasons why this island is beautiful, why people should go there to visit it and I want you to complete this puzzle uh, forming the image, okay? By putting the pieces together, okay? All right? Okay, so let's get to it. We're gonna put the puzzle together. We're gonna put the pieces together and I want you to, this is the image that you have to base yourself in order for you to complete the puzzle. And I want you to look on the web and look for reasons why this is an important island. Why should people go there? Why should people go visit it? Why should people travel there? Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to make the final review about or today's class. Okay. So today as a final review, we learned today about travel and we learned about the, what travel is, what it means to be a traveler. We also learned about collocations with Go, collocations in general and collocations with Go. We learned about, we learned about, um, we went to uh, what you need in order for you to book a vacation. We learned about reasons for traveling, how to book a vacation. We look at several pictures to describe travel experiences. We completed a puzzle. We completed the puzzle with WH words, okay? Um, we look at a little bit of the grammar of the collocations we go, right? And we completed the crab work about um, this island, Italian island, okay? Which is Procida Island, okay? All right, and we also completed an exercise in our book on the page number 48, right? The number one, what type of traveler are you? Okay. All right. So that will be all for today, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's class. Um, I look forward to uh, see you guys in the next class. Have yourselves a great day, okay? All right, bye for now. Bye. Take care.